brothers and sisters. Answer me this. Why have we allowed mortals to control our very lives? Why have we allowed this? Why have we allowed mortals to define the very life of our existence as they continue to work hard against us they know that we are primordials how many of us are working harder against them and this is why we talked about building and creating brothers that there are a couple of brothers have sent pictures of the um the designs that they created as far as artillery and as far as machinery has, has, has come. One thing we have to literally get past is the fact that we don't need the mortals. Everything that they have ever achieved was based upon our accomplishments as the original beings. Everything that they literally create has flaws. This is why you have the auto body shops. This is why you have all these other places because everything that they created has flaws because they're not complete. Mortals are, you, are are literally spiritual energies, destructive spiritual energies, designed to disrupt the, the the circulation of a system. Henceforth, the Moors created morsel mortals. The Moors are deities as well, but they created mortals and brought it brought the mortals in our realm to disrupt our internal communication system you must understand that we have enemies among us and not everybody who resembles who we are are our friends for the moors want to control the entire galaxy but first they must take this planet, which means that we have to literally move in a completely different manner, brothers and sisters. We must learn how to move in a completely different manner because we have allowed ourselves to be captive to something that shouldn't, that shouldn't have been. Yes, we know who they are. Yes, we fought many battles. All right? Like we said in the, in the previous message, it's only been a, a, a matter of 200 something years that we have, that we were in a sleep state and we had awakened. Brothers and sisters, it is that point in time where we must understand, understand, overstand that we have a greater duty within us, which is to um, succeed past what they have already tried to create. They literally created a, 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 a false reality by introducing mortals and, and bringing mortals into our realm. There were never mortals here before. We have always been the primordials. And we talk about the whites and the Mongolians. Those are the mortals that are here. All right? And I would say that the Moors are mortals too because they are outside the concept of their own planetary system, which literally makes them, well, they're gods somewhere. You must understand, overstand, understand, brothers and sisters, that there are literally beings across 
the cosmos who want to see other beings of, let's just say they're primordials who want to see other primordials under their control. All right? And someone say, someone may say, well, why does Mother Cosmos allow this? Mother Cosmos is nothing but energy. We are living vessels. We're living vessels who have the, the, the ability to make decisions. So many of us have made the decision to turn our selves over to the, the, the mindset of mortals, money, clothes, cars, things, houses, credit, all these different things. And we have allowed ourselves to be turned over. Saying, oh, I got these many credit cards. I got this, I got this, I got this. I bought this, I bought this, I bought that. But how many of us can actually boast and say, look what I created as primordials, especially the original beings of this realm, of this planet. So we have to get out of the mindset of this and that and get into the mindset of I gotta protect my planet. We spend so much time fighting each other for nothing. As, as, as the original beings, we're so divided as a people. I saw a video, I saw a video and I'll, I'll share it later on when I find it again. But there was these, uh, I guess they were having a family reunion or a get together or whatever. And a sister who was not a part of the family came and made a plate. And they made their sister put that plate down because she wasn't a part of the family. And this is, here's the thing about it. We have become so divided against ourselves that we will not even feed our own kind. Because we have the mindset of mortals. Mortals has literally divided us against ourselves. Humans and the mortals sit in on benches as judges and 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 as politicians and they make decisions for our lives and we're not sitting making decisions for our own lives. We're not seeking out the the, the justice of destroying them all. But we're gonna sit up here and vote. You got brothers and sisters running around talking about they were voting for Donald Trump. You voting for a mortal? Are you serious? You are voting for a mortal to be head of the banking system that controls our lives? When we should be collectively destroying the banks. That's all right. That's all right. Myself and other brothers, we're working together. See, the whole banking system is about to be done away with. The whole monetary system is about to be done away with. This whole system that they created is about to be done away with. We're destroying it all. And then we bring war. See, they want to bring a chemical war against us, and we're bringing this. We're, we're fighting back in a spiritual war. You understand that? Mortals are no good for us at all, brothers and sisters. Mortals are literally, they're, they're like squirrels. They just destroy everything in their path. Literally everything in their path. And that's what mortals are. They're just destructive spirits inside of soulless bodies. And brothers and sisters, Oh, you know, you fall for them, and and they marrying them, and they having children with them, and 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 just doing all kind of craziness. And I'm like, why, why, why? What purpose do mortals serve? None whatsoever. There's nothing that they have that's of their own. They have literally stolen everything from us. And everything that they use 
is because of us. All of the movies and the TV shows that they created are based on us. Mortals don't have a soul. They don't have a pineal gland. They don't have anything that's gonna justify their existence except for a lie. Brothers and sisters, why have we literally allowed ourselves to be controlled by mortals? They run around talking about they police officers and all this and, and prosecutors and this and that. And they give their own a pass. They're all mortals. Why have we allowed our, our, our ourselves to be drawn in to the lives of mortals? Why? Why? That's the question I ask. I, I ask that question in wholeheartedness. Why have we allowed ourselves to be drawn in by the likes of mortals? Why haven't we come to fight back? I see there's brothers and, and sisters talking about they have a uh, what they call a black army and they're walking around with assault rifles but they're not doing anything reminds me of the Black Panther movement which was started by mortals yes mortals started it and those brothers walking around with shotguns but not using it for war what's the use in having uh, uh, army and not going after an enemy but yet still we as primordials have targeted our own as enemies we have literally targeted our own as enemies and we have allowed ourselves to call ourselves enemies and we literally just bank on fighting against each other for what cause? What cause? Why? Why are we doing this to each other? Why are we hurting each other? What will make a mother literally just go and kill her, all her children, a primordial mother? What will make a primordial mother kill and kill all her children? What kind of poison has been placed upon us that we can't seem to function in the proper way as deities? Because we start to act like mortals, so many of us, and we divide ourselves because why? We don't want to be deities? Or we think that living the life as a mortal is, is, is more prominent than being a deity. That's something to think about. Running around, deities running around calling for some God, some Jesus, some Allah, some Jehovah. And when you tell them that they're deities, they look at you like they're crazy, like, no, but God is the only deity. And this and this, like, no, you, you, you got it wrong. The deities fighting against natural knowledge, against natural intelligence, because they made a decision to be mortal. Why do we want to be mortal? Why do we want to be human? Why have we literally lured ourselves to human concept? There's something for us to ask ourselves, something for us to, to, to put into a perspective of, of, of understanding that we have a greater purpose in this life in, in, in this life cycle that we're in. We're not supposed to die. We're not supposed to, to fall off of knowledge. We're not supposed to, it's a lot that we're not supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be in the highest level of intelligence. We're supposed to be, but yet still, we allow ourselves to be dumbed down. Look at the young men, our young men, our young women, look at them. They will rather want to be rappers and killers and drug dealers than actually be the creators of 
a new type of technology. You understand that? So this is where we fall. We talk about technology, but we need to address this matter because why have we fallen to the likes of mortals? Why have we allowed ourselves to become victims of beings who are not even supposed to be in existence in this realm? Something for you all to think about, brothers and sisters. Something for you all to think about. Something for you all to ponder on. Because we have an enemy who's literally not going to give up. And these mortals are going to keep doing this until we give in completely. These humans, they fly across the sky. Look at, look at, look at what's, what's going on in, um, down in Florida area. Primordial sister found dead with her two newborn twin sons next to her. And it's mortals, it's humans that's creating these storms. This is why we say, hey, we've got to go deep into technology, y'all. We've got to dig deep into technology because they are literally doing whatever they want to do. And there's no one for them to answer to. Because so many of us have become so weak that they can't even answer to us. We become fearful of wanting to destroy them because of the fake laws that they created. They created certain fake laws to protect themselves. They're humans. They're humans. Humans have no rights. But yet still I hear primordials, the brothers and the sisters, when these humans in their police capacity and the brothers and sisters where I have rights, you are a primordial. What right do you have under human law? Humans created laws to regulate humans. They were not supposed to be regulating primordial deities. So why have we subjected ourselves to this low state of mind? Why have we literally caused ourselves to fall victim to a system that is literally designed to destroy us? to destroy our minds, to literally alter the balance of our souls. Something for you all to think about. And they're not gonna give up. They're gonna continue doing what they're doing as long as we allow them to do it. We are allowing them to do this. It is us making friends and, and creating families and all kind of mess. When our forefathers been told us to remain separated, don't get involved. Let humans be humans. You guys, your, your whole duty is to protect the planet. Your whole duty is preserve the, 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 the power of nature. That's your whole duty. Your duty is to evolve into higher energy beings, to higher intelligent beings, but yet still, we did the complete opposite as the, as the primordial deities. We did the complete opposite, and there, therefore, we wanted to become human, and we started doing human things, like killing each other and hurting each other for no reason whatsoever. For no reason and we enjoy hurting each other. We enjoy killing each other. We enjoy destroying the lives of each other. Yes, we do. And we wonder why we can't grow in the societal structure because we're supposed to create our own society. We have allowed mortals, humans, infiltrate the very lives that we live and we've got to change this we're the ones who can make the change no one else can do this change but us we're the only ones there's no one else who can do this there's no Jesus 
no God, no Allah, no Jehovah, no Krishna, no Buddha. There's no one who can do this but us. Yet we run around to my holy spirits having a human uh, we spirit beings having a human experience. Why would we want to have a human experience? Humans go through pain and agony. We're primordials. We should be on a higher scale, on a higher frequency, on a higher vibration. Yet still, we allow the humans to do whatever they want to do. Early on, when we was talking about building and creating, there were so many brothers and sisters. Like, why? Why are you talking about building? Because everybody wanted to hear something good. That's why so many brothers and sisters listen to Isis Wisdom and listen to Rashad Jamal. They say things that make you feel good, but they don't tell you that, hey, you need to create. You need to build. You need to structure. You need to design. You need to understand who we are. We are the builders of the pyramids. We're the builders of, of, of the foundation of this very planet, this realm. And they fought against that because they wanted to be human. Because the only thing humans want to do is tell me something good. Make me feel good about this. Tell me something that's going to make me feel like something's going to come different. Just like we said before. They talk about, oh, there's a whole armada of ships coming straight to the planet. How many times did we hear this before? That's not the first time we heard this. That's not the first time we've heard this. I've heard this about three or four other times in this lifetime here. Well, these humans have talked about, oh, there's a whole armada and they're moving at light speed. And this is not the first time they've said this. I don't know why brothers and sisters running around acting like this is, is such, oh, such a beautiful thing. You got um, an armada of ships coming where? And then you got those brothers and sisters who are trapped in this religion. To my, oh, that's, that's Jesus and the angels coming. Ain't nobody coming. There's no armada of ships coming. If you if you look back and you do your research, you realize that these humans have said this before. All right? These humans have said this before. And this is not the first time these humans have said this. We have allowed ourselves to be trapped into the mindset of humans, the mindset of mortals, and we've got to get untrapped. This is why they want us all a part of their money scheme, their business scheme. It's all a scheme. It's all a simulation that they created to make us think that if we have this or that that they created, we have a source of power. When our source of power is the sun, the moon, the trees, the wind, the water. Our soul, the ether, the plasma, the photon. See, that's all all that has has different levels of intelligence. Everything in nature has different levels of intelligence. Money has no intelligence. Credit has no intelligence. Buying earrings and shoes, that's that's no intelligence. That 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 literally takes no intelligence to take some worthless, powerless money and buy a pair of shoes. Seriously, and you think you actually did something because you paid two hundred and fifty dollars for a pair of shoes. You actually think you did something. You think that you are part of something great when you're not a part of anything great at all. You're foolish for actually believing that there's power in things when there is no power in the things that mankind has created. There's no power in mankind whatsoever. All the way to what you call old age They're running around thinking there's power In these things and there's not Something for you all to think about brothers and sisters Something for you all to think about Why have we allowed ourselves To be in the likeness of mortals 
Why have we allowed ourselves to be in the mindset of mortals? Why? Why? That's the question. Why? When we're supposed to be on a much greater scale of energy, when we must be to be on a greater scale of knowledge. You understand that? We must be on a greater scale of knowledge and technology, energy. When you're supposed to have the knowledge of the crystals, you're supposed to have the knowledge of the minerals, the metals, the atmosphere. You know, there are different types of air that, that, that literally flows across this realm. That's not just one type of air. There's different types of air. You have plasma air. You have photon air. You have etheric air that flows here on the planet. You have solar air. You have lunar air. Yes, did you know that? Did you know that there's different types of air that flows on the planet? You know, there's different types of of, 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 of waters everywhere. All the water is not the same. <laughs> Multiple types of water. There are different types of sand, different types of clay, different types of mud, different, yes. Seriously. But yet still, we won't look into this type of mindset because we are still focused on being humans. Oh, we're just humans. You see, so many brothers and sisters say that, and I get tired of hearing that shit talking about we're humans. Oh, and our human, we're we're not humans. We never were humans. Humans don't have uh, uh lit the humans don't have fucking um uh planetary um elements in their bodies. Humans don't have plutonium and uranium in their bodies. No. Humans completely different beings. Humans are, are more of, of, of on, a, on a primal scale. Humans are more on a primal scale than anything else. So, where do we fit in as primordials trying to be human? We've allowed ourselves to become victims of our own circumstance. Yes, the Moors brought them here. The Moors used them to fight against us. And instead of us remaining separate, we became friends. Instead of us remaining separate, we became families. Instead of us remaining separate, we literally just folded under this thing and we created a bigger mess than what we ever could imagine. We created a mess. Things must be corrected. Everything will be corrected. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. Which power to you all. There's a natural order that's building right now. And it's not good for mortals. And they know this. We're going to get everything together.